Alright, we're leaving Lady Dies Hostel. We stayed here uh, last night. It was an amazing hostel. She cooked a great breakfast. We had to loosen the hip belts just now. <laughs> it was huge. Uh, we're going to try and put in as many miles as our bodies will take today. Uh, <clears throat> we've got Hampton 43 miles south of here. And so, uh, oh, uh, North Star, Ninja Squirrel, Fish. They're coming uh, uh, tomorrow night. Yeah. So maybe we can make 43 miles by tomorrow night. We're going to see. We're about two miles south of Damascus. And <laughs> I think we left town with our engines running, ready to tackle the trail. And this hill is a little bit of an unexpected morning bump and personally i think it's made a little more difficult by lady dies awesome breakfast sitting in my stomach yeah golly that was a day's worth of calories on a breakfast plate so we're laboring up the first hill about to finish virginia somebody said that at the table this morning i was like oh my gosh we finished virginia today yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, that's exciting. So, the uh, the state line is supposed to be at the top of the hill here. So, we're looking forward to the top of the hill in more ways than one. We're at the Tennessee-Virginia state line. In so. fact, I'm in Tennessee. And I'm in Virginia. <laughs> uh, Virginia was a long state, guys, yeah. but we loved it. People complain about the Virginia blues, and I'm like, what, you want to throw a state line in the middle of the state just for kicks? Virginia was a beautiful place. Virginia was great. I really, this was one of my favorite states on the trail. Uh, Eli had a, Eli said he had a goal of finishing the state of Virginia and you would see a lot of awesome AT if you did it. Yeah. I am looking forward to Tennessee, North Carolina. Um, but goodbye, Virginia. It's been fun. We'll, we'll be back. All right, made it to Abingdon Gap Shelter. Baxter here. I have a root beer drink mix. I <laughs> found a root beer drink mix in a hiker box. Lady Dies Hiker Box. I also have a heat rash, so. Well, before we get to the heat rash, he's added this to the half quart of water he has. Yeah. I mean, I hope it doesn't hate it because we're kind of a long way from water. I just walked two tents down to the spring. It was probably 300 feet down the ridge. Baxter did the same thing earlier, so we're even. Uh, he does have a heat rash on his back. We taped it. We're letting it cool off here. I think we might switch packs. His gossamer gear lays right on his back, and my Osprey has a little bit of a hammock. Yeah. So we're going to try that and see what works. But we've got a good pace going. We feel good. It's a good rest. We'll um, we'll keep cranking. Okay, so we decided to switch packs, and now I have a water bottle in my beard. <laughs> and Baxter's gonna try out the uh, Exos 58 for a little while. I told him this might be the day he decides, what the heck, why have I not been carrying an Osprey for the whole through hike? Who knows, it matches his bandana. Here is Abingdon Gap Shelter, also called Bear City. I just made that up, but <clears throat> we've heard from a lot of people, there are a lot of bears around here. so. We're glad we don't have to spend the night here tonight. The water's far away and the company is hungry. So we're gonna march on. We got low gap in 4.8. It's uh, 1230. All right, here we are at low gap. We've come 15 miles. It's, uh, what time is it? Like 2.30, a little after 2.30. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. There's a little pipe spring here and we're shooting for maybe 26 today. Ooh, we're gonna tell? It's the truth, we're gonna try it. I wish I had gotten a cool video when we passed this little um, disused shelter. That's what the AT guy says. Oh uh, yeah, it was made of chestnut. It was, it was chestnut was... log built in the 1930s. Uh, it was like a short squat hut. Kinda notched logs. Probably could sleep four. And it's still sitting there. But the chestnut logs were probably six or eight inches in diameter. No, not eight. Not eight. It would still neat. It's been there for uh, 
maybe a hundred years, there was a trail maintainer there who was scything the grass. The trail was so overgrown and there was like tons of it. He, he had a lot of work to do. Here, I'm going to show behind. Here's the trail we're about to walk up. And this, um, this is kind of like what the trail, well, that's a wide enough trail to have a, to have a walking path, but that green nettle was on both sides of the trail. So he was, uh, I mean, he had cut probably a half mile or more with a, with a scythe and he was hanging out in the shelter. It was cool. Onward. We've been following this old fence line up the hill for a while. Someone has done a lot of work splitting all these fence posts and laying them in by hand. And they have been here a long time. This line brought us straight up the hill to the top, close to Double Spring Gap, sorry, Double Spring Shelter, which ought to be close up here. This fence line reminds me of the stone walls we would see in New England. Well, we just stopped for a short break at Double Spring Shelter. By the math, it's Double Spring is 19.6 south of Damascus. So we're about to roll our 20 mile mark here today. It's 429 right now. And we sure would like to maybe push on to Iron Mountain Shelter if we could. It's another 7.7. .7. So we're walking slow now, 100 yards south of the shelter seeing if our bodies have another 7.7 .7 in them. Uh, our minds do, for sure. Uh, this has been a great day to hike. Cool, a little breezy. It has acted like it's been gonna rain on us a few times, but it has not. The guys that were just sitting at the shelter said they got drenched about an hour ago. So thankfully that it missed us and we keep it on walking dry. We came into this field, all the birds are playing and it's just so pleasant out here with some good sitting rocks. So we've dallied here for about 10 minutes and may spend a little more time. The view is great, it is cool, the sun is out. We could just camp here, I guess. <laughs> no, he says. Okay, we just crossed over Tennessee 91, it's 22.7. After a long break in the field up there, uh, we, we are back on the move, feeling good. We're headed to Iron Mountain Shelter, maybe four miles ahead of us, we'll see. Uh, that's right, about four. The shadows of the day are getting long. It's coming up on 7.30, 12 hours since we left Damascus. And we're climbing Iron Mountain now, looking for Iron Mountain Shelter. Uh, it will be, I think a 27.3 mile day there by the AT guide. So we've probably rolled 26 by now. I'm not quite sure how far we are away from the shelter, but it's been a good day for hiking. We have felt pretty good all day. We fixed some toes. We've had a little chafing, but uh, we've we've just treated the ailments as they come. Our bodies feel good and strong. We'll sleep good tonight. We've fed ourselves well today and stayed hydrated. So that's all you can hope for. Here we are at the Uncle Nick Grindstaff Monument. We're 0.7 from Iron Mountain Shelter, and he has a monument here 100 years after he died. Just exactly 100 years. Uh, yeah, I wonder what this guy did. Oh, are those words 
Those are words underneath. What does it say? Lived alone, suffered alone, and died alone. What? It's a little sad. Oh, that is cryptic. We're gonna have to look this story up. Oh man. 1851 was a long time ago. And we're out here in the middle of nowhere though. This is a beautiful little, I don't know, Glen. We're on a ridge up here. Uh, Uncle Nick Grindstaff picked a good place to be memorialized. All right, we're in the tent at Iron Mountain Shelter. We've hiked 27.3 miles since Damascus. And we're about to fall asleep as we take this video. We've been here for about 50 minutes. We got water, hung a bear bag. Baxter saw a bear just like 500 yards back up oh, the trail. Oh, yeah, I did. That was cool. It was a cub. The mama, I couldn't see. She was in the nettles. They were really high. So I did a sick PCT hang right here near our tent so I can keep an eye on it. I don't really know what I would do if a bear walked up to it, but uh, we got water, pitched our tent, called home, and we're about to crash. Yep. Put this one in the books, 27.3, 13 hours. Good night.